-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, I've I've heard, you know, from different topics. He he spoke about women and all of that. You know, there was something that happened um, this week. I know this video is gonna come out later, but you know, it's something that need to be spoke about. Um, a lot of y'all y'all heard the uh, the red table talk with Aisha. Oh Curry. man! Woo! <laughs> wow! Yeah, man! Y'all 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 heard? You know, it was different bits and pieces within that interview that what she said, but the main thing was you know her saying that she wished that you know she could get sometimes it bothers her that she doesn't get the attention that her husband gets and there was a lot of women that you know talked about the topic of being a, a single mother and raising kids and you know uh sometimes you want to feel wanted and all of that i'm gonna I'm speak yeah. my piece on that too yeah. well, go ahead well let me say this <laughs> I, I i speak about I speak about niggas, you know, having grown kids syndrome and being bums and all of that. But a lot of y'all women are bums, too. <laughs> a lot of y'all women. Look, before I say this, because I'm me all the time and I ain't fronting because this is a camera. If you know me, you know, I speak about this all the time. I ain't, had to, like, and, crack, and, had to yeah, crack the window. Yeah, it's a man yeah. here. Woo! And, you know, it doesn't matter if your feelings get hurt or not. It's 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 the God honest truth. And you know, look, I'm I know this personally. I'm not gonna put my personal business out there, you know. But I know this personally because I went through it. You know, uh, I I had a single mother. My father wasn't in my life. You know what I'm saying? So I I've heard you know how a woman feels my whole life but you know i say this all the time and i say it to my woman i don't initially agree with somebody just flat out cheating i'm not one that believes in that i'm an individual that believes there's reason why people go out and do what they do because it leads up to that and a lot of it plays off for of insecurity and a lot of women don't admit their part of pushing the man out the door. A lot of y'all women, a lot of y'all, a lot of times, y'all do have men that cook. And a lot of y'all don't eat the food that he cooks. Y'all don't compliment him. A lot of y'all women do have men to, you know, try to adore you. And a lot of y'all got attitudes and don't want to be touched. Y'all don't want to be loved. Y'all don't want to hold hands and all of that. A lot of y'all women have men that do own ties and do own slacks and try to take y'all out to eat. And y'all just throw anything on. Y'all don't take the time to do your hair. Y'all don't take the time to do your nails. Y'all don't take the time to put on heels. Y'all don't take the time to make yourself look like something. My question is, how come y'all don't be called? Why, why don't y'all call that cheating? Why don't y'all consider being lackluster cheating? But y'all can say all these other things about, ah, he was looking at another bitch and he was trying to talk to another bitch and he was flirting and all of this <laughs> stuff and all of this that he's trying to do. How come y'all don't consider none of that cheating? The same females that was agreeing with Aisha are the same females that don't really do their hair, <laughs> don't never do their nails, don't look like something. Don't look like nothing and are cool with it. But a nigga's supposed to do give you all the compliments and, and bow down to you and do all of this stuff for you. But you don't even do it for yourself. You don't even go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and stand in there and, and stare in the mirror and say, I'm a bad bitch. A lot of y'all don't, <laughs> don't even know what you look like from yesterday. Let's be honest. <laughs> A lot of y'all do have men to go to the barber shop to get shape ups and all of that, get fades and get their hair cut, do take time to put lotion on and smell good and all of that stuff. And y'all look at it like, huh, where you going? Who are you trying to get looking at you? That's what you that's what a man's supposed to do. But y'all so insecure and within yourself and what the last nigga did to you, 
you can't get to what a man is trying to give you. And that's bum activity. <laughs> so there's no way that you can say bum three. Yeah, there's no way you can say a man's cheating on you when you cheating on yourself and you cheating on him by not doing what you're supposed to do at the as a woman. It's in the Bible. I don't care what you believe. I don't care if if, if you Muslim. I don't care if if, if you uh, a Jew. If you read the Quran, whatever. Yeah, you Buddhist. Whatever. Buddhist, whatever. You have a part as a woman. And a lot of y'all don't even do that much because you so trapped in the mind and in the body, you can't even get out of what somebody did to you, cheating on you, hurt, hurt you, put his hands on you, being molested and all of that. Well, listen, my mentor told me that if you go out and buy a car, and you drive the car and the transmission goes out. And you know the transmission needs to be fixed, but you're still trying to drive it. You still, you just gonna be cool with the transmission. You're not gonna go nowhere. So eventually you gotta get it fixed, right? Same thing with those things. Yeah, those things are messed up. It's it's really terrible that, you know, you might be molested, you might been raped and all of that. Mm. Nobody's telling you that you have to automatically forget about it. But if you want to be happy and move on and live life, eventually you have to kind of, you know, take the good with the bad and put the medicine with the applesauce and put it in your mouth and swallow it. Even if you have to do it every day. You know what I'm saying? But a lot of y'all women are just insecure and y'all expect somebody to accept that y'all expect the man to accept that because of those things happening and you're not doing nothing about it a lot of those reasons that you insecure is because you don't want to do nothing about it for yourself y'all can't even give yourself a compliment but want another man to give you a compliment get the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah man <laughs> it don't work like that you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all out here with these you know looking like uh sister uh royalty that you know that's that's a that that's a maid y'all got all these thrift store dresses and y'all look like bums y'all don't do nothing to look sexy yeah that nigga gonna look at that female with that fat ass and be like god damn she yeah yeah ain't gonna be looking at porn yeah ain't gonna be looking at twerk videos <laughs> do you ever twerk do you ever do something sultry in the bedroom do you do the same thing do you just you know bend over or ride do you try to bring some excitement in the bedroom do you try to bring some excitement out the house do you try to bring some excitement when you go get an outfit how come y'all don't think when y'all go to get an outfit i'm gonna fuck this nigga up when i put this on <laughs> a lot of y'all don't think like that you know what i'm saying but you got all the you got all the answers of of of, of why somebody is wrong for cheating on you and is wrong for doing this and is wrong for doing that. A lot of y'all don't even tell a man you love him every day. A lot of y'all don't even kiss your men when they walk out the house and go to work, when they pay the bills. A lot of y'all don't even say thank you. A lot of y'all don't. Yeah. And a, a <laughs> lot of y'all are super, shots, super naive to get with, you know, bums that, that ain't men. A lot of y'all women, you know, that are like that, Y'all got niggas that don't got jobs. Y'all got niggas that take y'all to Applebee's when y'all go out to eat. A lot of y'all women ain't even been to a five-star upscale restaurant. And y'all cool with it. So the settlement is, is within yourself. It's not with anybody else. Confidence starts with you. It's called self-esteem. Right. <laughs> Stop waiting on a nigga to verify whether you the shit or not, bitch. If you the shit, you the motherfucking shit. We tired of y'all getting with us and blaming us for shit we ain't even in control of. You done got with a nigga, now you talking about, you fucked up my self-esteem. Bitch, it's all self-esteem. It's esteem of your motherfucking self, bitch. How the fuck can I fuck up how you feel about you, simple bitch? I'm just saying, ladies, stop tripping on shit that don't even motherfucking matter. Never. Cat Williams. <laughs> Self-esteem. <laughs> not him esteem, not her esteem, not past esteem, not new esteem. It's called self. It starts within you. 
You can't blame your mother, what your mother did, what your father. You can't blame what your father did, what your mother. You can't blame your ex. You have to blame you. You it starts with you. You know what I'm saying? And as much as these niggas got grown kids syndrome and are bums, a lot of y'all females are bum too because y'all let bums come in and fuck you and leave and y'all cool with it. I just needed some dick. Y'all just as dumb as those niggas. <laughs> And then you, you want to go to child support and all of that stuff. A lot of y'all wait till your, your kids get old, you know, within their teenage years to, to take a nigga to child support. Why? Why wasn't you like that from the jump from the of beginning. things? From the beginning of things. You know what I'm saying? You do it all by yourself and all of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And, and then even still, y'all do that out of spite. That's whack. That's whack. And, and a lot of y'all let your mothers and your aunties and your cousins and your sister sister influence y'all to do that. And your bum that, ass girlfriend. That's whack. <laughs> a lot of y'all take advice from from your bum ass friends that, you know, over here fucking this bum and that bum and, and letting two niggas come in and y'all go, girl. I, I wish I could do it. <laughs> you know, you know your friends are bum. And y'all just, you know what I'm saying, approve of that, that too. You know, but don't, you can't play off of cheating with, with everybody and everything. Especially when you cheat on yourself. If you, if you play off yourself like that every day, if you just get up and throw something on and don't even try to put on some eyeshadow or, or none of that. Listen, man, I got five sisters. Five. All together. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, all y'all in the background, even y'all niggas saying, who this nigga think he is? You know what I'm saying? That's where I get it from. I got five sisters. I'm the only boy. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And I, I've seen all of them, how they do things still to this day. So I know. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I know, I know what a woman's supposed to do and how a woman's supposed to be. And if you don't do those things, if you cool, believe it or not, I know that I, I dated women that told me I don't wear earrings. What? You don't wear earrings? You don't, you know what I'm saying? I dated women that, that told me that they don't, you know, use nothing to wash their pussies. <laughs> Woo! Rick Flair. Goddamn. You don't. <laughs> You vinegar, you don't sit in no vinegar water. You, you just, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm not the only nigga that ran through it. Some, some of y'all was dirty, nasty, yes. nasty, nasty, nasty. But dog. you want to talk about a nigga cheating and not giving you attention and all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all don't even know what an enema is. Y'all ain't even had an enema. A lot of y'all, you know what I'm saying? When your stomach, when you have a bad stomach and your stomach's aching and you're constipated and you can't poop, you know what I'm saying? You got that nasty period poop. Uh. You know what I'm saying? When you can't get it out of you. <laughs> if it don't come out your butt, where you think it come from? It come out your mouth. A lot of y'all's breath stink. It stink. <laughs> but you want to talk about a nigga cheating on you. Oh man. A lot of y'all don't get your hair done regularly. A lot of y'all just go out the house just looking like kumbaya. Don't put on no smell good, no nothing, but you wanna talk about a nigga cheating on you. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> man. And I'm gonna say right, right, right. And I'm gonna say one more thing before we get out of here, because you know, to talk about that, uh, you know, that little sit down. I didn't really, I seen a snippet of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I heard everybody, you know, talking about it. Which, which snippet did you see? Uh, it was the one where she was saying that she wished that she, she can get, get looked at. Yeah. And so see, you didn't, didn't no, nah, I don't follow that. Nah, nah, I don't. I don't think. See, I you, seen you that. got you got to do the follow up because then you will really feel a way about it. Because the second snippet was she, Jada asked her, um, "Does he yell at her and and does it 
do they get into it? And she said, no, and it pisses me off. Ah! And she said, I, look, I seen him lose it on the basketball court, but he doesn't do that with me. He's just calm, cool. Why the fuck do you want him to lose it? Hey. Why? Hey, hey, you know me hey, personally. I dealt with the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> that, let, that lets you know. <laughs> Some some something's wrong with what you. What Ryan Reynolds do in uh friends Yeah you know the girl yeah. Like, yeah some some something is real wrong with in, you. Yeah, insecurity is a hell of a drug. <laughs> it's a hell of a drug. You know what I'm saying? And and not to cut bro off, let me say this. Like that that's in the same context of I don't believe I, I'm not a man. I ain't never been a type of dude to believe in full jealousy. I don't know why women think they need that, you know, to smell themselves. They want to see a lot of women do stuff in front of their man to see, you know, another man looking at the ass or smelling at them just to see what they man going to do. I'm the nigga that's going to, I'm going to laugh with the nigga and be like, yeah, that's me. You see your ass? You got fat ass, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, that's a little neat. I ain't the nigga to be like, what you looking at, nigga? That's my yeah. girl. Like, that's the corniest <laughs> shit ever. Yeah. Especially if you trying to do that shit, you know what I'm saying? If you just capping, just doing that shit, if you just shaking your ass just so a nigga can look, just to see what your nigga's going to do. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of y'all fe females do that shit, a too. Lot. A lot. A lot of y'all. A lot, and y'all know y'all do it. But then y'all... some sucker but, shit. Yeah, but then y'all get mad as soon as a nigga post a picture... And some bitches putting googly eyes under the shit. Y'all going trying to go on her uh, Facebook account and see what she looks like and mm -hmm. looking at her and oh she wants you and why is she putting hearts mm -hmm. under you? That's the corniest shit ever. Corniest shit. You should be happy somebody looking at your nigga. You should be happy. You should be happy somebody's looking at your woman and at least she look like something. Mm -hmm. You should be happy, y'all. Is she inboxing you or is he inboxing you? He's supposed to inbox you. You're a good woman. <laughs> right. Let me She's supposed to inbox him. <laughs> let me let me let me say something on that too, because that's where I was getting at. Cause mm -hmm. I had seen it was either video or post something where somebody inboxed her. Yeah. On Instagram and and and, you know, they were trying to tell her that, you know, ain't nobody really trying to go after you. Because for one, you 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 dating a multi-million million dollar play, you know, basketball yeah, player. married. Then on top of that, good chick. So, yeah. so niggas going to leave you alone. See, niggas respect a woman that's actually on her shit. So they're not going to come to you on no bullshit. No. You know what I'm saying? See, when you lacking, that's when the niggas gonna come out. Come, you. and that, that's that's what you and know. See, I, that's what she don't understand. She think, ah, oh, don't nobody want her. Like, nah, it ain't got nothing to do with that. It's is that guys respect that, yeah. so they gonna leave that situation alone. They're not gonna try to gonna get try into to... your inbox. You not, you not motherfucking Jocelyn. Nah, I don't shit like that. You know what I'm and, saying? And even if you was, ain't no nigga out here giving. Even if, even if he's the goodest, the greatest, humble. Nice man giving a compliment. Hey, you look nice today. Behind that, hey, you look nice today. It's, it's I want. I wish I could bend her the fuck yeah. over and fuck the <laughs> shit out of her. <laughs> Men don't think I'm gonna get. I want to give her a nice compliment. Niggas don't think like that. I don't care if you black, white, yellow. Men don't think like that. The only thing we think about is, yeah, she look nice, but damn, titties look good, yeah, too. Yeah, right. Nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga, you see that ass when she's walking with, nigga? I, <laughs> that's how niggas think. I don't care how good of a man you are. Right. If a nigga say he don't think like that, he's lying. Yeah, he, Any might, nigga he, that might, ask, be, he might be like, yeah. you don't know. Any right. nigga that asks you out on a date, kind, your, your your work husbands and all of that, all of them niggas done thought, I've been uh, over, I'll fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> She just don't know. Straight up. Give, give me one shot. I guarantee. Hey, nigga, think like that. I'm about to take out. We're going to eat good and all of that. But, nigga, by this third date. <laughs> <laughs> it's going all the way down. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's how niggas ain't trying to give good, nice compliments. For what? You know what I'm saying? Like, she needs some dick thrown in her. They've been together since high school. 
you know, she ain't had the chance to get it out of her. And there's a video out there. Bro's going to find it. We'll post it at the end of this shit. Yeah. Just a little clip so y'all can see it. Watch that! There's a video. I don't know if it's his birthday party. I don't know if it's after he won the championship or where they at. But she's twerking on him, throwing that shit. And he's not into it. You could tell he ain't throwing no dick in her. And that's why she that go if you go back to what she said and go to that video, you can see she's yearning. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Put her on the south side of Chicago. Oh man, that's one of them niggas gonna throw some dick in her and she ain't gonna know what to do. Straight up. Oh man, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's some sad shit. Yeah, and it, 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 what's what's so sad about it is most of the women, I wrote I wrote a post about it on Facebook and I said the same thing. Most, not all, but most of the women agreeing with her are in a situation to where they got niggas that don't show up to their children's events for school. They ain't never in no pictures. It's always the niggas that got some some uh, faded shorts on in a t-shirt. Don't ever put on no slacks or nothing. <laughs> don't ever have daddy dates with their daughters. Don't ever do nothing for them. Don't ever, you know, say, hey, you're beautiful. Don't. They got the most bummest, dumbest niggas. You know what I'm saying? And they agreeing with her. Of course you agreeing with her because you don't get no fucking compliments either. <laughs> That nigga don't take you nowhere but the Applebee's and get you a, a go ahead and get you a two for 10 or, or, or two for 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, man. I mean, you know, I ain't been to that restaurant. Of course you ain't been. Of course you got a low self-esteem. Look look at your, your the restaurants you go to. I don't like that restaurant. They look like they got uppity people in there. What? I don't, you I ain't never been on no plane. I ain't, I, I ain't, most of them people ain't never been out of town. They ain't even ever been out of city limits. Get the fuck out of here. There's a reason why you're insecure. There's a reason why your self-esteem is low. But you try to put it on somebody else. It's their fault, not your fault. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs>